Uh, yeah, the first video I showed you how to open it with a shim. Second video I showed you how to decode it. Third video we shimmed it, then looked down inside and looked at the internal wheels to decode it that way. And today we're going to do what I would do if I came across one of these padlocks and I don't have the combination at the back and I'd forgotten what it is. What would I do to open one of these locks? And what I would do, since I've got one of these good shims, these good spring steel shims, and not one of those cheap ones you can buy online, and because it won't do it, this is tough to get into, the tolerances are tough. If you get one of these, this is a Sparrows shim, then it will work, anything cheaper, and it won't. Even with the Sparrows shim, it's, it's quite tough. So I'm going to put it in the side, I'm going to rotate it around, while I'll just try and show you on camera, try and rotate it around while pressing um, and and lifting the shackle, rotating it the shim around until we're got in the right place. Okay, I think I've got in the right place now, and it's down, so I should be able to lift the shackle right up. Okay, so I've lifted it up, and what I would do now is I would do this magic trick where I'm going to turn, I'm going to have this just above the hole, I'm going to turn to the right and keep turning to the right, and you might have to turn several times, turn to the right until it engages the shackle and starts to pull it down. And actually we want to pull it down until the bottom of this cutout, where the locking bar goes in, the bottom of it, we want it to line up with the top of the hole. And so when I do it, it is a, it lines up about, maybe about there, and that's about, um, may, may, maybe it's 29. Okay, so now, I'm going to close it up again. At 20, 29, what's that told me is that 29 is the first number, or thereabouts, it might be either side, but if 29 is our first number, then I'm going to try and find the second number by pulling up on the shackle and testing the looseness of each of these gates. And I, I can already tell that this one here, around about from between 29 and 30, is, is the loosest. Even if I pull up hard on the shackle, it's just so loose. Don't have to uh, turn it very hard for it to turn. And all the other ones, if I pull up, especially if I pull up hard on the shackle, there's lots of resistance and it's hard to turn it from left to right. Okay, and all, all the ones are like that. It's hard to turn. Letting go of the shackle to find the next gate. The next gate where it doesn't want to come out. Each, each one I'm pulling up on the shackle, and if I do that, it doesn't want to come out unless I let go of the tension. And I can tell that they're all tough to turn. So let go of the shackle, turn it a bit, and pull, and it clicks into the next one. Tough. 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 And this is the only loose one. Okay, so I know that is our third number. So um, I don't know what we're going to call that. Maybe that's 29 as well. And you are allowed to have the first and third number to be the same on these locks. So now I know the first and third number. I'm going to turn it several times to the right. And uh, several times to the right and stop on 29, we said. And then one full turn past 29 to our second number. We don't know what our second number is. But what we're going to do is test um, test all of them. One way to do it is we can just test every second number. So like I'm at 29, I'm going to go to 31, and then to 29, pull up. Nope. Uh, 33, 29, nope. 35, pull up, nope. 37, no, 
39. No, one. And it opens. Okay, so I was able to open it fairly quickly. Combination 29, 1, 29. Okay, so that's how I would decode one of these fast using a combination of a shim to get the first number and the resistance to get the third number and then quickly try the second numbers till we get it open. Thanks.